Are you still mad at me? Baby, you're being a brat. Yes, I do think you are being a brat. Okay, well, let me explain. So, I've been working a lot more lately, and you've been working a lot more lately, and we don't like that. Can we admit that we both don't like when we work so much? Okay, right. So, you know what? So, I decided, hey, so a friend of ours is having a get-together, and I think we should go. Have some fun. Just blow off some steam. You know, I get all dressed up, and you get all dressed up, and we have a great time. We see some of our friends and we hang out and have some food together. And then an old friend of mine that I haven't seen for like years comes there and she's super happy to see me. She's like, oh my God, it's you. And I'm like, oh my God, it's you, that person, you know? And then she gave me a hug and then we were talking, just catching up. And now you're mad at me because I have friends? No, not because of that. Okay. Well, the entire car ride home, you wouldn't talk to me. The entire time we were there, since she started talking to me, you wouldn't speak to me. So, how am I supposed to know what you're thinking or how you're feeling if you won't communicate it with me? Well, I'm sorry. I do care. It just gets a little frustrating when I'm trying to sort things out with you and try to fix whatever is the issue, but you refuse to, you just keep giving me the silent treatment, basically. Yes, I had a general sense of, hey... I think my baby's a little upset with me. And I did do my best to try to act accordingly. To try to see what's wrong. And you're not helping me out. Yes. I do care. But I need you to help me out, okay? Do you think I like her? Is that what it is? Okay, yes. So, before me and you met, Me and her never went out together. We never dated. She wanted to. It was something that she told me she wanted to do. And she initiated it. But I just wasn't interested in her that way. It did kind of create a little bit of a rift. Between our friendship. And admittedly things kind of went downhill from there. We kind of stopped talking as much. And stopped hanging out as much after that. But nothing ever manifested from it. It just was... But all she was just one of those friends in the group that, like, we're not super close, but she was kind of always there. And then after I found out she did have feelings for me, you know, we just drifted apart even further. But I just find it kind of cute and a little ridiculous that you feel that way. Yes, ridiculous. And let me explain why, sweetie. When we got there, do you remember the first thing that I started doing with you? Yeah, so then kissing you. Yeah, I was taking you around to everyone and introducing you to everyone and just kept raving about you and praising you. Like, hey guys, this is my girlfriend. Look how amazing she is. That was me most of the time. Yeah, that little smile that you're giving me right now, but you're pretending that you don't want to because you're still pretending to be mad. (laughs) Yeah, you were doing that same little smile. I remember that you kept saying you found it cute, but embarrassing that I kept introducing you to literally everybody at the party. I also remember that I wouldn't let your hand go. Do you remember that? Okay. I do too. I also remember that I kept holding your waist and I kept hugging up on you every time we were dancing together. I remember that too. Then soon as this old friend comes to the party, it's like everything that was good and positive about that experience that I was really enjoying with you goes out of the window and now I'm in the doghouse. It's how she was doing what? The way she kept touching my arm and my shoulder when she was talking to me and was overtly physical with me with, you know, trying to touch me and hugging me. Okay. Yeah, I actually did notice that too, which is exactly why I started to gain some distance from her. No, I don't even like anybody touching me unless they're you. Like, I mean, you get you get you get a hug, and then like after that, and, uh, I don't know. She kept laughing at everything I said. Mm. Eh, I mean, I don't blame her. <laughs> I'm not that funny, but okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. I'm starting to see what you're talking about now. Like, I noticed it there at the party, admittedly, but maybe not this much. I didn't say I was wrong. I didn't say I was wrong. Let's not get crazy. Let's not. Let's not. No, 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 no. <laughs> but please continue to explain. Like, oh, you're so annoying. Because you frustrate me, but you're, I love you. Just, okay, just continue. Please continue. Yeah, eh, I guess that's true. She was staring at me a lot. Um, I didn't really notice it all that much, though, but you don't want to know why. Because at the party, I was noticing every guy staring at you. Mm-hmm, yeah, at you. I was actually noticing the same thing, or something similar, with a lot of guys who were at this party, you know, who kept wanting to touch on you, and who kept wanting to give you a hug, and laughed at everything that you said. I just found it strange. No, not strange that they were laughing at you. Think, baby, you're funny. I know you're funny. Stop it. I find you super funny. That's not the problem. I just noticed that a lot of guys were giving you a lot of attention, too, and... Uh, <sighs> it was making me really angry. It, well, it was a little frustrating, I will admit. But I wasn't too concerned. Well, because you're mine. I'm not worried about them. Yes, you are. You are mine. You're my girlfriend and we're together. I'm not worried about them. That's why it's a little, and I guess, frustrating for me. Because i seen something similar with these guys at this party and, you know... It didn't really bother me that much because I know that I'm not going to lose you to them. Are you worried about losing me to her? Is that what it is? No, 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 no. I don't want to gloss over this. I want to know. Are you worried about losing me to her? <sighs> Sweetie, you don't have to worry about that. I'm not going anywhere. No one's taking me away. You're stuck with me. <laughs> and I want to make this very clear to you, okay? No, don't look away. Don't look away. I'm being serious. Baby, I'm so in love with you. You're my best friend, and there's no one who's ever going to take me away from you, okay? You make me so happy every day. I am so lucky and so blessed to have you in my life. Admittedly, you get on my nerves sometimes, but I get on yours, so we're even. You are the smartest and most beautiful woman that I've ever had the honor to be with. Yes, honor. I went there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could be charming sometimes if you let me. <laughs> uh, mm, you're so cute. Okay. Come here. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm throwing you over my shoulder. We're going to our bedroom. No, sweetie, no. Not, no. Why do you keep patting my butt? Why are you doing that? <laughs> You're so weird. Uh, okay. Come here. No, no. Come here. Come here. I need you to lay on top of me. Oh, that's sweet. But I need you to turn around. Yes, I'm giving you head scratches. I know how much you like that. <laughs> Stop it. Just, uh, just turn around, baby. How does this feel? Good. I'm glad. You know, I do kind of find that a little funny. Well, we were kind of arguing, but we're not really even arguing. <laughs> like, we're both simultaneously laughing, yet frustrated with each other. And we still, in the midst of all that, can still resolve our problems. And, yeah, I will admit, I do want to apologize for getting angry with you at all. No, no, seriously, like, I just feel like, um, all joking aside, I should have taken how you were feeling more to heart. But I do think it's adorable that you were jealous. Yes, I do. Well, I mean, yeah, it's kind of hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, but I also give amazing head scratches, don't I? Uh-huh, mm-hmm. <laughs> don't tell me to shut up. You know you like it. I have magic fingers. But like I was saying before, I promise you, there's nothing you have to worry about with her. Or really any woman. You are the only woman in my life. 
Okay, yes, I, there's my mother. But you like my mother, right? Right? We'll talk about it later. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I won't ruin this moment. I'll just continue with the head scratches. We're talking about that, though. You don't like my mother? Okay, okay. All right, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, I can't believe you didn't notice all the other guys that were flirting with you, though. Well, yes, I noticed. Yes, it was very clear. I definitely noticed. I'm not getting mad. It's just... Mm, why do other guys have to exist? Why? Now, I'm being ridiculous. Mm, I just found it so ridiculous that every single one of them kept asking about it, you know? How's the weather? It hasn't changed in the last five minutes, guy. Still the same. I'm not jealous. Nope. I'm not jealous. Because I already have you. Why would I be jealous? You know, I don't like it when you're mad at me, sweetie. Well, I love making you happy. So when I see that you're frustrated, you're upset with me, I will say I do find it cute, but internally it just, it really does bother me. Because I always want you to be happy and smiling and positive, you know? It frustrates me to know that you're frustrated with me. Maybe I shouldn't be so frustrating. <laughs> okay, I'll work on that. Yep, I'm already putting it on my whiteboard, in my head. Be less me. Got you. <laughs> okay, good. I don't want to be less me either. I'm pretty awesome. Oh my god, stop it. You know I'm joking. You love me. I love you too. Okay, now close your eyes and relax. And let me just keep scratching your head like this. <laughs> I love you too, baby. 